knowing that you were on his trail probably drove him over the edge. That butt kissing of yours must be a hard habit to break, eh, Murphy? <laughs> you must want some. <laughs> what? What? Who's gonna tell me about Franco Franco? He's a big time crook. Deals with stolen and illegally imported merchandise, especially Jade. Jade. That's all? Let's come on, Jade. Sorry, Murphy. Statuette? Can't help you with that. Fine! Get lost. Uh, let's get to the pawn shop. Pawn shop. Books pawn shop. Perhaps you can tell me something about this. What else can I help you with, Murphy? What else can I help you with, Murphy? Murphy? Well... What can you tell me about Franco Franco? Big time crook. Deals with a lot of uh, smuggled artifacts and the like. He's pretty well connected with the mob and black market here in San Francisco. Here in San Francisco? What can you tell me about Jade? You know, I subscribe to a trade paper called Jewelry Weekly. In the last issue, it seems to me I saw an advertisement by someone named Franco, who was looking to buy Jade. There wasn't anything Oops. of interest in the Sorry. trade paper, so I threw it out. It's probably still in the trash can out back. I would use the sound a little. I have the feeling it's louder than my voice. Oh well. Um. Okay. Nice. Uh. Exit to alley. So, where uh, are we? Open the terrace, the trash can with a sign on it. Hello, bum. You are scaring me. Wow, a recyclable paper can. Finally, a glimmer of ecological responsibility. Yes, yes, yes. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh. Wanted. Private collector interested in acquiring pieces of jade. Will pay top dollar or trade. Contact Franco Franco at the Alhambra Theatre, 8... 808 Paloma Lane. Uh -huh. Well, let's travel to the Al Alhambra Theatre. Go to. Being a movie buff, I've heard of the Alhambra Theatre, though I heard it was closed down years ago. Sure enough, it's boarded up, but one of the back doors is unlocked. As soon as I step inside, two lugs the size of refrigerators grab me. I tell them that I have something for Mr. Franco and one of them walks off. He comes back a minute later and escorts me into the main theater. A Buster Keaton flick is playing. The place is empty except for a man sitting by himself near the front of the theater. Welcome, Mr. Murphy. Mm, I'm acting. Uh, inquisitive. Hey, how do you know my name? I have my ways. I've been told you're a private eye. As I'm sure you know, I'm strictly a legitimate businessman. I don't want to sound racist here, but can it sound a more black person-ish? Horrible. Yeah, you may be legit, but I understand you're pretty jaded. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, that I am. Speaking of which, did you bring the item? Item? I have jade. Oh, yes, I found this. Where did I find this? Uh, I have no idea anymore. Sure. Offer. Ah, a lovely specimen. It will make a fine addition to my collection. Well, money? Now, I will answer one question to the best of my knowledge. Uh, it's a mysterious artifact. 
There's a statuette in the shape of a bird that recently came onto the market. <clears throat> you know who has it? Hmm. I know the statuette you're referring to. There were several bidders for it, but I believe it ended up in the hands of Eddie Ching. I can say no more about it. There. Now I fulfill my part of the bargain. Don't contact me again. Unless, of course, you find another fine piece of jade. You know the way out. You know the way out. Okay. Let's go to Texas office. Perhaps we go to fax. Do you have a fax? Awesome. Do you have a fax? You have a fax. You have a fax. Well, well, well. Uh. Nice. Uh, dear Mr. Murphy, I have to do a black voice now. Uh, I have no idea how to do the black voice, I will just do this. Concerning a recent discussion, I have some information you might find helpful. Well, it won't profit me to tell you this. I would not be entirely unhappy to see Eddie Ching come out on a short end for once. Like most everyone else in the city, I know very little about Ching. But I've been told that he lives in a luxurious high-security apartment building called the Nikaboka. A number of powerful underworld figures live there. I don't know which apartment Jing lives in, but you have connections with the police. They may be able to help you, Franco Franco. Ah, let's crawl down my walk through. What? <laughs> Let's go back to the police station. Oh, I'm so glad I don't have to watch. I don't have to fly there all the time. Back again, eh, Murphy? What can I help you with? <laughs> I wear the same dress all the time. <laughs> I'm so awesome. What can you tell me about Eddie Ching? Ching's a dangerous customer. He's responsible for half the crime in the city. Pretty sure he owns the police commissioner. We've been told to lay off him. Okay. What can I tell about the Nikoboka? That place is home to more major crime figures than any other place on the planet. Eddie Ching lives there on the entire top floor. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Let's go to the Nikoboka. Nikoboka, I get chain. Ouch. No, I don't have Looks to like no one's home. This is gonna be easier <laughs> than falling off a horse. This window doesn't want to open up. Maybe if I Whoa. Oh! <laughs> what the hell? When I stop bouncing off the awning two floors below Ching's place, I realize it'll take more than sheer strength to get into the apartment. Luckily, I noticed something that might help as I bounced by. A sticker on Ching's window said, Security System Installed by Underwood Incorporated. Oh boy. <laughs> I love this game. It's good. <laughs> Let's go to the electronics shop. Talk to Mr. Ham Underwood. Back again, eh? What can I do for you? Okay. Fetanize. I understand that you and I are in the same line of moonlighting work. Really? Huh? You do security systems too? Sure. Well, sometimes. Here, let me see if I can find one of my business cards. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. I always misplace my business cards, too. Uh, what types of security systems have you worked with? The secure ones. Let's see. The last job I had was the laser security system at Big Dick's Casino on Mars. <laughs> I've heard that's a neat system. But it's nothing compared to the one I just put in. No, oh, Manly bravado. I'll have you know that I've beaten every security system ever made. 
Well, after I installed this system, I tried to beat it, but I couldn't. First, the only possible way to enter the building would be to land on the roof and rappel down. Then, you'd have to cut through the LCD alarm glass. Well, that's not too hard. In fact, I, I sell a laser blade here that would do it. But once you're inside, every room is flooded with a net of heat and motion sensing beams that could turn an elephant into a brick of carbon. Believe me, it's burglar proof. Uh, listen, this system is top secret, so uh, let's just keep this between us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I have to buy a laser cutter from you. Uh, uh, uh. Where is a laser cutter? What's this? Uh, the Road and Tracker 8000, just like on TV. Because household pests never build up an immunity to bullets. Okay. Scary. Uh, where's the laser cutter? Looks like a core sample from an old sofa. Uh. Use credit card on blue light special. Ah! Yeah. Oops. Um, inventory. Credit card. Use. Do, 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 do. Oh. Let's get this. Thank you. Okay, go to Knickerbocker in Eddie's library. Get book smoother looking glass. Okay. I guess I have to go. Do I have to go to Eddie Chink's library? Uh, let's go to the library. Perhaps I. On top of the, ooh, ow! Armed with a chintzy ow. electronic shop laser blade, I land my speeder on the roof of the Knickerbocker. Hoping for the best, I repel down the side and pull out the laser blade. The laser beam cuts through the LCD glass like it was butter. I gingerly crawl through the hole in the window and find myself inside Eddie Ching's library. Either I'm exaggerated or the laser fields aren't turned on. This must be my lucky day. I have the feeling they are turned on, so let's save. In case something goes wrong. Laser. Okay. Ah! What? No lasers. Aww. Okay. And there. Through the looking glass. This book seems out of place somehow. Yes, it doesn't really fit in. There's something different about this book. Just call it P.I.'s Instinct. Mm -hmm. Aha! Instinct. I knew it. A key. Okay, open the closet. Closet. There. An extremely handsome... No, it's a table. Closet. Closet. This must be the only door. No. This one? Impressive closet door. Ah. Awesome. Use key and closet. Well, that's not gonna work. Well, that's not. Okay. Come on. Nice. Eh. I must be in walking mode to look down. <laughs> I forgot. Examine trap. Hmm. A heavy duty metal Geiger trap. Looks like it might be sturdy enough to use on the roaches at my office. Uh. I don't want to know what kind of roaches you have. Clownfish confetti food. Smells like cotton candy. Okay. Huh. Okay, fish tank. Hello. Open. Use swow wing on fish tank. I would have never guessed this. Let's override the first save. Okay. Yes. Can I just no? Uh inventory. Swow wing. Swow wing. Wing for swing. Use on uh, Now this ring should be heavy enough to be useful. Okay. 